Judges chapter 21, as we come to the very end of the time of the judges here in this chapter, there is this crazy thing going on with the tribe of Benjamin. They had committed perversion, and they had begun to dwindle down as a tribe. In fact, there was only 600 men and no women. And they were going to, well, they were going to become extinct. This tribe would disappear without the ability to reproduce. And so the Israelites came to this place called Mizpah, and they're all praying and asking God for an answer. And before God answers, before God gives them a way to respond, they look around and say, well, who's not up here praying? Well, there was this one camp, the camp of Jabesh Gilead, whom no one had come to. So here's what they thought. Well, we'll go take all their women. They didn't come up and pray. So this is, this is crazy. It's, it's nuts. They, they go down. They, they kill all the men that are married and their wives. And, and they take 400 of the single women who'd never been with a man and bring them back to the tribe of Benjamin. They're still 200 short. And so now what are they going to do? They, they still need 200 women. So they send them down to Shiloh and say, you know, as the women are, are around, steal 200 women. And that's what they do. And this is how they're going to replenish and continue on the tribe of Benjamin. It's this bizarre, crazy end of the time of Judges. And it ends with this verse. And I think it kind of, this verse kind of answers why things are so crazy, so brutal, so bloody, and so bizarre. It says this, in those days, the very last verse of Judges chapter 21, in those days there was no king in Israel, and then here's the, the clincher sort of. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. And that's what happens. Without a leader, without a king, people do what's right in their own eyes. We see that in our culture today, we see that in people's lives today, and it ends up many times with foolish decisions, perverse actions, and that's why the Lord send us a king. He send us his son, because he becomes the king of our life and he helps us find wisdom and direction and do that which is right in his eyes, not what's right in our own eyes. In the time of Judges, the reason things were so bizarre was because it had become a nation where everyone did what was right in his own eyes. And it creates chaos, it creates bloodshed, and great perversion. And that can happen in any life and any nation when they allow themselves to drift into a world where everyone thinks they have their own truth, when God himself has given us the way, the truth, and the life. It's a huge sign when you begin to see a nation, a culture, an individual say, well, I'm just going to do what's right in my own eyes.